Hi guys and welcome to another studio vlog. In today's week I will be working on some orders from my shop and some special commissions that I have to paint using watercolors. These past few weeks I received some pet portrait commissions but a couple of these are very special because they are actually memorial gifts. I love painting animals and pets no matter what but memorial gifts always hold such an important meaning to me I find it extremely moving when someone finds comfort in what I do. To think that a piece of art can offer a little bit of happiness to someone that is going through a really hard time, especially that grief after losing a loved one, for me that feeling is so moving, it's so incredibly touching. Now this couple of weeks I had this honor to paint a couple of cats and also a couple of dogs. One of them was an international order and the other two were local orders and that I could send in a beautiful white frame and I just feel very thankful for the opportunity and very moved by this idea that my art can be comforting to someone that is going through a hard time. Now it's time to pack these paintings and some orders I received from the shop. As always, I try to be as resourceful as possible, so I'm stamping this tissue paper with some stamps I made years ago. These orders were so cute, so I'm adding these meme cat stickers as freebies, my business cards, and time to seal this tissue paper. Another meme cat for this small order, and now it's time to get all the packages done. I'm also going to be packing one of these frame paintings. This one is Felipe's portrait, this gorgeous cat. This was one of the memorial gifts that I was very moved about. And so I'm packing it with lots of love and affection and hope that those feelings can get to the person whenever they open this package. Now that all the orders are ready, it's time to put them into their respective packages and boxes so I can send them to the postal office and get delivered to the customers. In the middle of this time, something very heartbreaking happened. I lost one of my pets as well. One of my bunnies that I had been with for seven years. She was one of my closest friends. Back in 2020, when we had to isolate ourselves because of this virus thing going on, I was completely alone. And I was going through a very difficult time of depression. My anxiety levels were out of the roof. It was a very scary time. And that was the time when my bunny and I bonded the most. I feel like she felt all of my pain. And she got close to me to offer me her love. Whenever I was going through a hard time, all that I had to do was pet her and I would feel immediately better. She was a painkiller. Try to navigate these feelings and try to deal in a healthier, more beautiful way. 
I just decided to make an illustration dedicated to her and inspired by her. I just wanted to capture her cuteness and her very distinctive qualities. And so I managed to now realize that art is not only comforting to the one who receives the art, but also to the one that makes it. So if you're an artist and you're going through a really hard time, I would suggest that you try to deal with these very complicated feelings through art. Whatever type of art that you do, I think it can be extremely benefiting. Like drinking a very warm cup of tea. And this was the result of those feelings. This painting is not completely finished yet, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of this process of me dealing with a very painful situation and I want you to know that if you're going through a similar thing that I understand completely what you're going through and I hope that better things come for you it's important to remember our loved ones in their best form or shape which is by just reminiscing on the beautiful memories that we formed together. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this was a little bit more emotional than usual, but I I just wanted to post something. I didn't want to skip this week. I'm trying to post more regularly. So I hope you like this. Please remember to subscribe, like this video, share it with someone that may need it. How do you use art to grieve? How do you use it in a therapeutic way? to heal yourself, to heal others, I want to read your thoughts. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!